Nashville, Tennessee. I'm actually at Music City Indian Rentals. I'm meeting up with a fellow writer I met probably about a year or so ago. Her name is Honey. She is meeting me here and we're gonna do some of the Trace and maybe Loveless Cafe. And then also I'm a bad moto vlogger because I totally forgot my GoPro at my in-laws house. So I have to go back up north to come back here before five o'clock and I have to bring the rental back. So fingers crossed the rain stays away today and it makes for a good ride, but all right, let's get in and get the rental going. My ride for today. Dun, 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 dun. Super pumped. I've never ridden one of these before, so it'll be an interesting ride. I love the dash already. Whoa. Long stretch. <laughs> Might have to back up first. <laughs> I'm just impressed by Pony and how she starts her vehicle. <laughs> she always has a screwdriver in her pocket for that reason. That's awesome. But this lady is one badass mechanic, if I have to say so myself. I feel comfortable. If anything went wrong, car, bike-wise, she'd be there to save my ass. <laughs> She'd started a group with a couple other girls called the Bella Donna's, I think it is, for Nashville. Unfortunately, none of the, it is a Friday, right? It's Friday, Friday afternoon. So I'm thankful she can kind of take off. And ride a little bit in the rain with me. more comfortable with it every single mile but it is comfy we just rode up through River Road from downtown Nashville up to Ashland City because unfortunately I left all of my GoPro equipment in Clarksville so thankfully, my in-laws, amazing that they are, stopped halfway to drop it off. <laughs> so now we're kind of going around Nashville, headed back to her, her place of home. Before we split off. I've got a good couple hours yet. Five hours? Five hours left on the bike? Before I have to return it back to Music City Indian Rental. So, I don't know. I miss, I miss riding. Just being in this area. I think I mentioned it before in another video. If not, my husband and I used to live near Clarksville, Tennessee area for about a year. This was four, almost five years ago now. And I love this time of the year. So I'm, we never had a bike when we were in this area and I regretted it like 100%, if not 200%. So the minute I had the chance to find a rental and ride some of Nashville, I was going to. So this week, or today I should just say, is the day. Even despite all the rain, which is not even like heavy downpours, it's just light mist that makes the roads a little slick, your helmet a little wet, but still not bad. Here, I'll put the visor down too so you can see. 
McLaren. But I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. <laughs> Walked into, I wanna say it's a dealership, the rental place. And two weeks ago I, re I rode a Scout Bobber. Absolutely loved it. Had an absolute blast with it. Thank you, Abby, for that again. <laughs> I'll put the link above my head for that video. But I have been slightly hooked on riding an Indian. And so I could have rode another Scout Bobber or something like that, but because I need to venture out and try new bikes, bigger bikes, it's just not as a point right now for me. Yes, it is a bit of a bigger bike. It's a bagger. <laughs> At least I consider it one. So it's taking some getting used to, but I love the dash. I love all the extra added bonuses that come with this bike. It's got a 116, I think it is. 116, 117 engine. And I am, I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time giving it back today. But riding these back roads of Tennessee, everything is just lush, green, so green. Windy, twisty roads, nothing like Wisconsin at all. And it brings me back to this little piece where, I don't know, my husband and I, our first like time together spent away was celebrating um, New Year's Eve down in Nashville, oh gosh, 11 years ago now. We got engaged down here right around that June time frame about 10 years ago. So this city and this area always just has a piece of our heart and of course our in-laws, my in-laws I should say, still live in the area, my brother-in-law do, so we come and visit at least two, three times a year. And I've never, besides the one time we've trailered our bikes last year, we rode a little bit through around the Ashland City area, did some of the Screaming Eagle route, and I think the Ring of Fire route too that Tennessee has, did some of those roads. But that was the only time I've ridden a bike down here. And so I'm so freaking happy that I just decided yesterday, all right, you know what? It's available, let's rent it out. Why not? Kinda wanna do some of the Trace Parkway. I did wanna check out Loveless Cafe. We, our only options near the Walmart here that we had was Popeyes, Taco Bell, or Burger King. And so we went with the Taco Bell route. Hopefully I don't regret it in a couple hours. But I need to find something a little more substantial and I have for how many years since we've been living here. I wanted to check out Loveless. I feel like I need to, but I'm gonna be fighting with the rain and a possible thunderstorm. So fingers crossed, it gives me at least just overcast riding for the rest of the day today. So yeah, I still can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so damn proud of myself. Every week I keep pushing a little bit farther out of my comfort zone and this guy is one of them but I can say I am comfortable as hell on this guy love the four boards love how the controls are all the way up I know I said I was gonna leave and just do some montage roll but I just can't quit talking about the bike <laughs> all right so we are stopped me in the bike <laughs> I stopped in Hendersonville, just dropped Honey off, she had to get gas and head back home. So I've got about four more hours to decide what to do. And it's been raining like the entire time, so we're under cover right now at the gas station. But I think I'm gonna go to the other end of Nashville, check out Loveless Cafe, because I really wanted to do that. Ride some of the trace, depending on timing-wise what I've got, because it's about a four, 40 minute drive back up to the Indian dealership before I have to return her. So 
think that's enough time, but I'm gonna take my time because of all of this rain. Ran into so. a lot of traffic. Pretty much going 10, 15 miles an hour. Good practice for me at low speeds with a bigger bike, but not enjoyable in the rain. Still in the rain. But I'm about less than half a mile away from Loveless Cafe. Gonna grab myself some lunch, maybe some breakfast. Lord knows I need it. Made it to Loveless Cafe. And let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. Watch this girl sit right next to the pretty little sign and motorcycle parking only. Perfect. Yes. Breakfast for lunch. Definitely recommend getting the biscuits while you're here. They're homemade, including the jam as well. I got a waffle. Yum! With a great view. She's the only one over there. Got my biscuits on. Got my breakfast on for lunch. And now I'm about to get more riding in quick before I need to head back home. Home. <laughs> Bring you home. Plan on doing about like 10-15 minutes of the trace. Um, just because this parkway or that parkway is like 400 and some odd miles. I'm not entirely sure but a long way if you keep going the whole route. But I just want to make it to the bridge, ride the bridge, turn around, come on back. So, let's get on the road. Whoop, whoop. I'm on the trace. And I know you can't go very fast on this parkway. Because there are cops hanging out <laughs> quite a lot. So, speed limit is like 40, I believe. But I'm getting very comfortable with this bike. This is a bad thing. A good thing. But a bad thing. Am I turning into a bagger, lady? <laughs> and a sporty. And all the two wheels. Just give me one of every single bike and put it in my garage and I will be in pure heaven. Pure heaven. Love being back here. So far it was a good day. I'm kind of disappointed it's been rainy, but it really hasn't been like horrible. I knock on wood. <laughs> it hasn't been bad. So I can withstand a little sogginess. Like even my boots aren't aren't bad at all. But I'm definitely enjoying this. Ooh, all these fancy options here. Current ride. I was jamming out to Disney before. I was like, if I just rolled up on somebody with a happily ever after theme song when they do it at Magic Kingdom with the fireworks. Like that was the song that was playing. <laughs> Just rolled up to somebody else and be like, heck yeah, this is my ride. <laughs> Riding a big old bike, jamming out to Disney. Going to find some place to eat. <laughs> that is my life in a nutshell. I would die a happy woman. <gasps> There's the bridge. Is this the bridge? Oh, it is. It's fun. Okay, hold on. Bird song hollow. What's that mean? No parking on bridge. Come on, really? I'm doing it. I've seen people park on this bridge before though. This is so cool. But I didn't 
signed a waiver saying that I wasn't going to do anything reckless or not against the law, so there you go. But I'm going to try to find a spot that I can pull over and set up my camera and take some pictures quick. It would be awesome if you could do a drone, but you can't. <laughs> That's awesome though. Super, super cool.